Welcome back to Cruise Control, and uh, welcome back to the city of Pendrago, not Last in Bell. I might have accidentally messed that up, both in uh, my commentary and in the episode title last time. So, whoops. Anyway, we're here to investigate the Cardinal. And we need to go to the Shrine Church, which... Okay. So, I'm just going to pick a direction and go. Because this whole city loops around. Oh uh, yeah, so there's the Cardinal here who seems to be up to something shady and apparently has powers similar to my own. But there's also this thing with the Pope and like, is he corrupt or is he on the level or what's going on with him? Uh, yeah, I can't remember which way the Shrine Church is. Uh, and, oh yeah, and Rose has a contract to basically assassinate the Pope, or at least figure out what's going on. Yeah, so that's not the Shrine Church. I think it was down this way a little more. Yeah, not... Was it in the Eastern Quarter? Maybe it was. But definitely we got uh, some politics going on. It's always about the politics. Wait. Am I going the right way? I haven't seen a star anywhere. I was kind of expecting to. Uh, yeah. I've been this way already. I bought the map from that guy. Well, he has a new dialogue. He's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're waiting on some low-life traitor. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. Wait, yeah... I think maybe I... Yeah, I think I picked the wrong direction to start. So let's head down this way. <laughs> Once again, my sense of direction is uh, paying off. Oh, okay. And now I'm here again. Uh... Fuck. Am I... Hmm... Okay, what did I just do there? Because clearly, I don't know what I'm doing. So, now that leaves town. So I want to go up this way. But then... Maybe not leave? Fuck, I don't know. Was this the Shrine Church? I don't think so. Uh, fuck, I want to hit myself in the head because, like, I remember actually going up to it and, like, not being able to enter yet, but the game basically telling me, like, this is the Shrine Church, here you are. You're in the right spot. And now I've completely lost where I am and what I'm doing, and god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what is video game? How I video game? What I do? Help. Okay. So is it is it this way? Oh, uh, you know, yeah, I think so. I, that icon was like a dungeon icon, so it kind of threw me off. But this might be it. Yeah, here we go. I did it, guys. Easier than we thought. <laughs> no, this not exactly. Like an auditorium of sorts for the believers. Sure looks like a small crowd. Now, what do you got to say, Rose? We're good to just walk inside, right? Pretty sure Sergei cleared everything for us, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to say hello, right? Yeah, I think that was it. All right. Any any hidden treasure chests in the pews? Oh, come on, there's gotta be, right? There has to be. Oh, I'm sad. Can you tell me the names of the seraphim who hold the utmost power, known as the Five Lords? Um, uh... Uh, Miklio, Lila, Edna. Oh, oh. Never mind. Correct. 
Now, can you tell me the name of the last one? The seraph who's worshipped here at the shrine church? Motelis! Mohammed! <gasps> oh? That's right! Mao Tellus is the seraph who has given the entire Glenwood continent his blessing. Lila doesn't seem too happy about this. Let you, at the let you hide. Let you hide this time, Lila. The five lords, huh? Big movers and shakers. I bet Mao Tellus would know something about how to stand against the Lord of Calamity. He's got to. Is he really all that? Well, he's the leader of the five lords after all. You must be Sore. Welcome to the Roland's Church headquarters. I heard you were to visit. Please, come on in. Ugh, God. I hate church. It's the most boring thing ever. No, it's not the most spectacular thing you've ever dreamed of, Sore. You faint on me, I'm punching you again. Yeah, that's right. Rose knows where it's at. It's more magnificent than I'd even imagined. The architecture definitely dates it to the height of the era of Asgard. Glad to see you're impressed, but don't let your guard down. Yeah, this place is huge. Maybe it is going to be a dungeon. I can totally see that happening. Secret in the church? That's pretty common. Also, I feel like we haven't had a proper dungeon in a while. This inscription concerns the trial of the shepherd and the spiritual powers he obtains upon clearing it. Could the spiritual powers be real? Bzz, 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 bzz. Uh, real bees. Oh, bees everywhere. Uh, just possibly. Okay, like there's something it's lost in translation when it comes to Lila's. But it's all gibberish. Weird must be spacing out gag. It just doesn't work well, in English. Involves sensitive info. Maybe there's a hint to crack the code somewhere. Hey, what does the big rock thing say? I'm afraid I'm not really sure. The inscription is written in some sort of cipher, and the key to interpreting it is handed down only from Pope to Pope. So I guess we'll have to get the Pope to read it then, huh? I'll head Pope. Oh, what the? Uh oh. Uh. Fuck. Let's get out of here. I don't feel so good. What is going on? It's a hellion's domain. Well, just like when we fought Heldolf. This is real bad news. Uh, please don't make me do a boss fight with just Rose and Saray. They've been turned to stone. Well, you're not held off. Who are you? Going home already, Shepherd. Oh, it's the Cardinal. Huh? Well, I she... am Cardinal Fortin of the Church of Roland. She's not even really trying to hide it. This domain, is it yours? Ah, so you can still move. Why don't you lend me your powers? For the sake of the people, of course. Yeah, no, you're you're looking kind of evil right now, lady. I think I'm going to say no. I hardly think myself the equal of a Philistine like Bartlow. Sounds like something a Philistine would say. Yeah, that's right. You tell him, Rose. Charming, but sticks and stones and so on, young lady. Ooh, she's good. No, that was a terrible comeback. I have but one wish. To see my empire overcome this tumultuous era of chaos. You kind of look like a Kingdom Hearts character. A task only possible if the people are united. But Roland's is far too expansive to unify the people through mere patriotism alone. Time for some good old fascism. Exactly what it is that the state has used for eons to keep an entire country in line? Fear of minorities. Is it faith? I guess that works too. Faith. 
It is the belief in their own salvation that inspires in people the greatest sense of unity when they band together against outsiders who share different values. Meaning that my church itself should serve as the cornerstone for all of Roland's. Maybe in your mind. It is but the vision of one who would guide the people. With the name and power of the Shepherd, more people than ever can be brought to salvation. Then you should cooperate with the Knights. Wouldn't that really be what's best for everyone? I would welcome their efforts if they would simply bend to my will and do as I command. You know, that's fair. Even if they are a pack of loutish meatheads who can't figure out that their Pope abandoned them. Wait a minute, the Pope just ran away? You didn't have him locked up? I am not a street thug, child. The Pope, Macedra, I should say, left of his own accord. She who would want to run away to both the Empire and Asian. his followers. What, pray tell, would you call such a man? I don't know. Pretty smart. If what you're saying is true. Irresponsible is one word, and still there are so many fools out there who trust in such a coward. The Knights, for example. In order to bring the people together, we must find Macedra and give him his due punishment. I mean, Rose is already kind of planning to kill him, so... The same punishment that befell those uncivil enough to mistrust me. Then we have a problem. We need the Pope to tell us the meaning of the inscription. Why? Cooperate with me and it won't be necessary. I need to know. No matter what. Ah, I see. That's very unfortunate. So then you mean to say... What the... My I mean, Saray's not being That's unreasonable you, here. Saray. I mean... This is weird. We're leaving. Huh. Okay. What? What? <laughs> what? This is weird. They broke through my domain and connected with the Seraphim, if only just for a moment. Like, why did they just fuck? I guess. Oh, well, I, I guess they're not strong enough to fight her in the domain. I, I don't know. Not entirely sure what's what happened there, but hey, we got away. Spectral cloak. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, neat. <laughs> You've been practicing in secret, haven't you? That was sweet. Although it really highlights how weird that walking animation is. Do you have any equipment you'd like to fuse? That's a good question. Do I? No, I definitely don't. I fused everything I could at the shop. Wow, that was a close one. Gah, my legs are still shaking. Uh, all right. Well, let's get the fuck out of this place. So now it's gonna stop her from just, like, following us and, like, murdering our friends. And, like, doing what the fuck she feels like. Because apparently she's pretty powerful. That seemed to be the impression the game was trying to give me. It's nice to see more antagonists. Oh, that Rose. Always running off on her own with her little murder plots. Always stabbing people. What a card. The Pope fled of his own volition? I'm sorry I couldn't get more details. We were sort of running for our lives. I mean... She isn't necessarily telling the truth, you guys. More than enough. 
I'm just relieved that you weren't captured. She did kind of like want to murder you there. She's not Thanks for saving the us most reliable you. source of information. It's the least I could do. J just saying. Seraph Miklio, my humble admiration for your bravery. Wait, can you see him now? It's nothing really. Oh wait, you could always see them. All you did was blind her temporarily. Fuck off, Dazzle. We have to do something about her domain. Those powers might help. Let's get the Pope to decipher that inscription. That'll be tough if we don't know where he is. The knights have been hunting him for a year now with no success. Yeah, but they were assuming the whole time that the Cardinal was behind the disappearance. Guess what? I think I know where Popadop might be. <laughs> you do? The village of Gadadin on the southern part of the continent. We won't know for sure until we check it out, of course. How did you get that information? <laughs> well, let's just call it an industry secret. You know how it is. Of course. Oh, Rose, you're the most useful member of this team. Let us send a search team to Gadadin. Hold on a minute. The Cardinal already expects that our side will be searching for the Pope. A highly visible squadron of knights would essentially be a bright pink arrow pointed straight at him. However, we can operate covertly in small numbers. <laughs> yeah, the shepherd and his, and his entourage heading but towards the place like to would surely not attract any attention at all. Abandon Pope, all ye who uh, don't go to Gadadin. What? Okay, settle down. Rose, you're better at this than than Lila. Gentle Shepherd. Lila, you suck. Actually, as for what you can do in return, do you suppose we could get a pass to Rollins? I might be mistaken for an ally of the Highland Army otherwise. I have seen for myself the quality of your character. I shall prepare it immediately. Thank you. That's a lot <gasps> of my mind. Man, you sure you don't want to join my party? There is something I would like to impart to you as well. Cause you see, you're you're pretty cool, man. You're a good guy, and your armor is awesome. Look at that cape. Look at that awesome cape. Ugh. Oh, you sure know how to gather intel, Rose. Comes with a job. Information is power, as far as I say. Something to impart? What does that mean? Well, it's Sergey we're talking about, so whatever it is, you can bet he's serious about it. Better go see what's up, don't you think? Alright, you guys got new dialogue? Whatever the whereabouts of the Pope, we shall stand beside the Captain. Anyone who does not is blind to the Captain's qualities as a Knight of the Empire. Our nation's eyes are upon us, and we must stand together for the people. The idea that Pope Macedra fled of his own accord might not be entirely untrue. His family passed away several years ago, and since then he was wont to look forlorn. Aw, poor guy. Gododin, eh? Furthest south of any village in the land. back. I pray that, in your travels, you'll be able to confirm the safety of Boris and the others. I'm terribly sorry, but I cannot allow you to pass beyond this point. Hope this doesn't seem like I'm overstepping any boundaries, but please, you must find Pope Macedor for us. Yeah, you can't tell me what to do. Fuck you. Anyway, I'm gonna go do what you wanted me to do. Not because you told me, though. Because I want to. Do you remember the art I used when we fought against one another? Yeah, you used a few, didn't you? That is the lion's howl, an art passed down through our band of knights. Are you gonna teach it to me? I and my younger brother Boris are the only ones alive who know it. Oh, uh, that's not enough. You should teach it to more people. You should teach me. But now I pass it to you as well. Yeah. Yes. I even yeah. It's just gonna say, don't even give me the choice, cause that's obvious. Oh no. All right. Lions howl, you say. Um. Okay, what what can I get rid of here? I can probably get rid of Sonic Thrust. Yeah. See, seals the fury of the lion in one's palm, unleashes the blast of enemies away. 
Hidden Higher Art of Heavenly Torrent. Oh, okay. Cool. So, oh, that's weird. But it's Earth instead of Water. No, I don't want... Okay, how do I... There we go. There we go. I did it. Well, you're a fast learner. I must apologize that this feeble art is all an oaf like me may offer you. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on yourself, man. Don't say that. It's incredible. Thank you so much, Captain Sergei. You and I stand as equals. You may call me Sergei. Yeah, we're bros. Bros for life. Sergei, I am loath to believe the Pope just abandoned his post on us. But I also sense that there may. Ah, he heard there were some supple and nubile young children in that other village, and he just had to go check it out. We'll find the Pope and come back with the truth. Ha! <laughs> that was a timely joke I just made. Godspeed. So, did the Cardinal just not bother looking for us at all? Is it the scattered bones who found the information on the Pope? Maybe. Seeing where the church's money was going gave us a little hint. That's what I thought. You guys sure don't operate in the same way that the knights do. Of course not. An assassin's guild can't function without proper intel. Assassins. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot about the whole you murder people thing. Whoops. Here is your pass, Saray. Thank you. Our travel should be much easier now. I wish it were so, but we've received word that Byroclef Ridge, which leads to Gadotten, has been blocked by rock slides. Of course it has. We could have been on the ridge right now. If only we'd been a little bolder. God. Rose! My punchline. God damn it, you two. Stop it. What's the plan? Stop it. You'll have to go through Cambria Caverns, south of the Meadow of Triumph. An underground passage, huh? No <laughs> Look at Rose's face. <laughs> eh. That's your thing, isn't it? You bet it is. Okay. You sure know how to... Oh, uh, yeah. So, south of the middle of Triumph, right? According to Sergei, at least. We'll push south through the underground tunnel thing. I guess it'll dump us into the road to Gadotin. Yeah, we're going south. I think I remember those... those caves. We shall reign in the Cardinal as best we can. I pray that you all remain safe from harm. Oh, you guys have a new dialogue again. Holy shit. If you stray off the path leading south through Cambria Caverns, things get very confusing very quickly. You need to be on the alert at all time at all times in there. Oh, that was old. Alright, anything else? The entrance to Cambria Caverns is in the southwestern part of the Meadow of Triumph. It's a little difficult to locate, so keep your wits about you. Make sure not to veer off in the wrong direction or you'll wind up on the road to Bureaucleff Bridge instead. Okay. So I guess we're leaving town for now. How am I doing for money? Eh, no, don't have a lot. Oh, that's right, because I spent most of it on, on new gear. All things considered, that's not a bad way to spend my money. I get the feeling some kind of disturbance is going on in the castle or at the church. Did something happen? No, it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, so... I'm not entirely sure where I want to go next. Is it down this way? I just need to leave town, so... I guess anyway is probably fine. Yeah, just look around here. Any dialogue from any of you people? Nope. Looks like you're all the same. I'm kind of glad that I don't have to go around the whole city and talk to everyone again, so... Fuck it, let's move on. I'm gonna spend one last night at the inn here. See what I get for, uh, skits. If I get anything. I always gotta get the skits, man. That's the most important thing about this game. Tell me more about equipment fusion. Okay. Although I'm still really bummed out that most of these in skits are 
only two tutorials combinations you need to remember. First rule, if they're both the same skill, then that's the skill you get after fusion. Simple enough. I'm guessing that same rule applies when both slots are empty. Yes, the second rule is, if the slot's empty on one item and filled on the other, you get the skill from the filled slot. Got it. So, the big question is, what happens when two different skills are in the same slot? That's right. In this last case, a new skill is born from the two old ones, but it's sealed off temporarily. Oh, and Rose. Seal is... Oh, my. See, it's funny because she keeps falling asleep during the tutorials. It's like she's bored. It's almost like the tutorials are boring or something. Oh, here's a real skit. Sure looks like the Cardinal Sahelian. Indeed. Though we have yet to discover its true form. In other words, she claims to be serving the people, but in reality, she's just furthering her own ambitions. Sounds about right, stupid humans. Perhaps she was burdened with a responsibility she could not bear. The pressure to do something, anything, most likely was channeled into her sense of self-justification. So basically she couldn't hack it. Do you think the Pope jumping ship might have been what finally set her off? That I couldn't tell you. Your, uh, job kind of depends on that, right? Yep. That's why I gotta track down this Pope and see for myself just what kind of person he is. <sighs> Saray. You must gain the spiritual powers. Everything else comes second. Who cares if Rose wants to slit the Pope's throat? The Pope. It doesn't matter. Yeah, let's go. Oh, more skits. <sighs> I ate too much today. My stomach's all achy. Oh my. You shouldn't stuff yourself like that, Rose. By the way, I was curious. Can Seraphim get upset stomachs or gain weight? To say it in a fairy tale sort of way, your thoughts become reality. What's that supposed to mean? We won't gain weight from consuming calories, but we will from thinking, I'll gain weight if I eat this much. Whoa! So does that mean you'll be okay as long as you don't think like that? No. Denying the reality of things leads to malevolence. A seraph must not be detached from reality. So at the end of it all, you could say we're the same as humans. This is so confusing! That's actually kind of interesting. Like, really interesting, actually. I kind of dig that. Um, I'm going to say I should actually start rotating my saves in case any of my recording sessions go wrong. I never even really thought of that too much. Whoops. Anyway, I guess it's time to leave. Also, there's a big star up ahead, so... Let's see what they want from me now. Oh, hi. Is it one of the Cardinal's guards? Saray, we have to trick the guard into thinking we're not here somehow. Oh, so do that. Oh, time for the shitty walking animation. <laughs> we made it. Good job, team. We lost the Cardinal with that. I sure hope so. Skits? Nope, no skits. Okay, so... Um... So I want to go to... Yeah, the Meadow of Triumph. So I want to go north and east. Nice thing is, I've already kind of explored this area. Have... Oh, wait, no, I don't think I did fully explore this area here. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I looked around. Yeah. Doing that, duh. God. My memory of just like a few days ago is already shot. And, uh, yeah. So, I wonder, like, they say the Cardinal's a Hellion. So how much of her, like, Hellion state of mind is in is influenced by... Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, we're fucking running away from this. Yeah, I wonder how it's influenced by her, uh... her own thoughts and... and goals and personality.
Boy, this escape is taking a long ass time. And you know, maybe I actually shouldn't worry about the escape. I might be able to just kill this guy anyway. Oh yeah, can I cancel that escape? Yeah. I think I can actually win this fight. I was expecting it to be way harder. Oh, they take shitloads of damage here. So, you're weak to wind. Um... Yeah, let's, uh... Let's swap to wind. Or... I'm trying to swap to wind. Oh, there we go. So you guys high level too? Yeah, hmm. Interesting, I wonder why they're so high level. Alright. Bam. No. Sad face. Huh, wow. That was tough. So is that just a random chance of, like, hard enemies, or...? I'm gonna fight this guy, I'll see what it's up. What level are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're back to level 26, so... Alright, I'm just gonna spam my Armatize. Until I can't anymore. I almost like armatization better for regular fights or boss fights. Even though you'd think that, like, it'd be something you'd save for boss fights? I don't know. It's kind of weird. And yeah, yeah, I'm still in, like, the low 20s here for my levels. I don't know, like, should I do a little grinding here off camera? Am I underleveled? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah. Right way. I'll probably try and fight a few battles along the way. Because you know, my, my equipment seems to be more important than a lot of this other stuff. So, I know you never check. Okay, so touching save points doesn't instantly heal everything. I wasn't sure about that. He said they were south of the Meadow of Triumph. Pretty sure I... Oh, oh it's probably that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's that. Hey, what's up, dude? Who are you weak to? Are you weak to water? Let's see what happens. It, no, come back. It, it, stop it. Okay. Oh, I guess attacking breaks it. Oh, you're not weak to water anyway. You are weak to fire. Oh, these guys are actually pretty tough. I mean, hit point wise. are calling me. Alright. Wait, what the... You know, oh wow, I haven't actually checked my battle actions in a long time. Oh god, I have so many points to use. Uh, auto finality... Oh, I don't think I want to automatically do Mystic Arts. Longer st Ooh. That seems good. Also, I completely forgot this existed. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go a longer step. 
That seems real nice. Also, what are the new ones? I got new ones, apparently. Who? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I think I remember that. Alright. Greater Heights? Hmm, yeah, okay. Cool. Awesome. So, uh, I guess that must mean in battle, because I don't think it's affecting my steps here. I was actually kind of hoping it was in the field. So I could move along faster. Yeah, let's fight these dudes. What are you weak to? Rock. Oh, yeah, red time. I haven't used this form in a long time. I forgot how awesome it was. Ah, oh, so cool. Also, yeah, Saray's sword's pretty awesome right now. I'm taking it a lot. See, so yeah, there's gotta be the caverns over there, right? Seems like that would make a lot of sense. Remember if it was blocked by something? I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna save my game here. And, uh, yeah. Let's head down this way. Okay, yeah, I remember that leaning tower. Yeah, this is all starting to look familiar. Oh, yeah, and there were soldiers blocking the way here, so... Seem to be cleared off now. I've heard the situation from Sergei. The entrance to the caverns is just ahead. It's a little small, but once you're inside, it gets much bigger. So take care not to get lost. You know what? I think I'll be fine. I'm the protagonist. Maybe you haven't heard of me. But I have protagonist powers. Part of that includes a map that I can just dream up whenever I want. It's pretty awesome. Well, here I am. Do you really think we can get through this way? Don't worry. You sound pretty confident. Is it just a hunch? <laughs> no. I can feel the wind. Oh, no, that that was just me. Sorry. Fart jokes. Oh, skip. There's nothing in the universe cooler than a secret passageway. Yeah. Especially one underground. I can give a few things. A maze of twisty little passages with exits galore to who knows where. Like the back of a waterfall or the bottom of an old abandoned well. You fucking yes. nerds. Nicleo gets it. Glad someone gets it because I don't. I don't want to get it. <laughs> the boys just love things like this. No, no, we and don't. In this case, I don't know about boys so much as children, right? Burn. Especially considering you're the kid here, Anna. Oh, what do you got to see, Rose? See tunnels, caves, stalagmites, stalactites. This is my life now. Uh huh. <laughs> Poor Rose. Okay. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. This seems like a good place to call it. So yeah, uh, next time on Cruise Control, we'll explore the uh, Cambria Caverns and uh, see if we can find the Pope. And also possibly kill the Pope. Maybe. I kind of hope so. Find out next time!